Now, we have, we have some notes on partial fractions. Now, not always we get nice fractions like we did in the previous example. We had uh, first order fractions, 1 over s plus 1 and 1 over s plus 2, 1 over s plus 4. In some cases, I cannot get to the, these fractions. For example, if I, if I have a fraction um, that looks like uh, x of s equals some um, function of s here, the numerator, and in the denominator, I have s plus a twice s plus b. In this case, if I try to use s plus a twice and s plus b here, I'm using a, b, c, that's not going to work because these are basically the same fraction. It's just s plus a and the numerator is a plus b, which are two constants added, so that's d. And I will end up with basically two fractions, while I should have three fractions because I have three powers or third order s. I have two s's here and one s here. So in this case, what I would do is I'll use s plus a and s plus a squared. Now these two fractions are different. And that way I will have three different terms in my solution. So when I have repeated fractions or repeated roots, repeated roots or fractions, This is the way to deal with it. So, in general, if my fraction, let's say some f of s divided by s plus a power n, that root is repeated n times s plus b, then I will have to use s plus a power n plus s plus a power n minus 1 all the way keep reducing the order until we reach s plus a and then s plus b and I'll have here uh, say a1 a2 all the way until we get to a n, a n, a n plus 1. And then I will solve here for these all constants. And then use the Laplace inverse. So that's one special case here with partial fractions. Another case, this was the repeated roots. Another case is if we have a case where x of s equals some numerator f of s and then in the denominator we have s squared plus a times s plus b when i break the denominator into fractions i end up with this fraction i cannot break this any further in the real domain. If I break it any further, that would be complex numbers. It's going to be plus minus negative, uh, plus minus uh, square root of a times the complex uh, index. So this is going to be s equals plus minus j times square root of a. And I will end up with complex fractions. And that's not something that you want to deal with. It's doable, but it's going to be a bit complicated. 
So what we do in this case is I will use two fractions. I'll keep this as is s squared plus a plus s plus b. But for this higher order fraction, the order is s squared. I will use a s plus b. I will have a polynomial in the numerator, one order less than the denominator, and here I will have c. Now I can use the Laplace inverse for these two fractions using the Laplace tables. Um, so this, this is the case where we have higher order more than order one so and in general if I have let's say a function or a fraction that looks like s power n times a that plus a times s plus b and order s what I will do is I will keep this as is s power n plus a plus s plus b but up here I will have a polynomial in s one order less than the denominator the denominator order is n so I will have a1 some constant times s power n minus 1 plus a2 times s n minus 2 and keep going until I reach a constant uh, number reduce the orders of s until we get to order s0 which is 1 and here I'll have a power of a sub n plus 1. So that's the second scenario where we cannot reach simple fractions. So this will go all the way until a m. It's a m multiplied by s power 0, which is 1. Uh, now let's see how we can deal with these cases on uh, an example.